Hi, my name is Zach Kinman. I'll be graduating from California State University Channel Islands in the spring with an environmental science degree. Now, my capstone research is focusing on the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic on the um, mental health and well-being of the surfing community. Um, I'm personally invested in this as I'm a surfer myself, um, and I've been affected by the pandemic as well. So if you'd like to talk, uh, I'd be happy to. Let me know. Where are we? Okay, so, uh, so Zach, so good. Um, I think... I think work on getting rid of the ums. Um, nice, relaxed style. I like that. Um, uh, Want to have a bit more practice though. So instead of the ums and the eyes up like that, you're 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 a little more smiley and right at the person and, and saying this and that. Also, again, a little specifically about what you what your what your study found. So we know you're a surfer and all that kind of good stuff. But let's let's say what let's hone in a bit more on the findings of your scholarship and a little bit less of your background. Cool. Hey, I'm Ramey. I'm graduating this spring from the ESRM program at CSUCI. I've been working on several research projects surrounding eco-hydrology, which is how different ecosystems interact with the movement and quality of water, some of which include sampling for metals found in the Tur River, assessing viral loads along the coast, and studying beavers and their impacts on microplastic accumulation, as well as my capstone on the impact of fires and woody rack breeze. I'd love to tell you more about my interests and especially hear about what experience you might have to share. Here's my business card. Feel free to give me a call anytime. Yeah! Okay, so, uh, so uh, good uh, vocalization, good projection, all that kind of stuff, Ramey. Um, I liked it. Uh, I liked the yeah at the end. That was cool. Um, but a little too much about your resume. So, th so that, so this isn't a resume pitch. This is you inviting to have a conversation with the person. So let's focus more on uh, your findings. Um, so you talked about several projects. That's cool. Pick one, the specific findings, talk about it. Um, give me a hook on that finding. You can, it's, it's okay to spend a sentence on your resume. I'm working on several projects, eco-hydrology, beavers, and blah, 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 blah. Um, and specifically, I, uh, one of my, in one of my research projects, I looked at blah, 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 and found surprisingly that blah, 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 right? That's the, that's the kind of um, hook we're looking for. Okay, so, um, and at 37 seconds, it was a bit, it was a bit too long, right? So we want to hit 30 seconds or just under 30 seconds. Okay, cool. Um, all right, thanks. Hi, my name is Evelyn Leal. I am an environmental scientist, and for the past year, I have been working on my senior thesis, which focuses on seafood availability in three counties, LA, Ventura, and Santa Barbara. Often people believe that the ocean is limitless, but I think we have met that limit. We are consuming seafood faster than could be caught and produced, and this could spell disaster for our oceans and the overall health of our planet. Um, good. Uh, I liked it. Little more. So you're super able to be loud and projection and project yourself and be confident. Good. Little more smiles. Little more smiles. So so you're so much more effective when you get a little bit of a little bit of a smile there going on. So that was good. Um, uh, yeah. So like the talking about. Hey. So we're having this problem. But but another half sentence or so about why. You, why the over harvesting is happening or, or, or how you know the over harvesting is happening and then and then I think that'll be um, that much stronger all right cool thank you dear Levy and I'm a recent graduate at California State hi my name is Clay Levy and I'm a recent graduate at California State University Channel Islands where I studied environmental science I have heard much about your coastal engineering firm and I'm very interested in the work being done there. My senior capstone project actually relates to your work. I analyzed beaches in Southern California, looking at the annual geomorphological change of a beach and how this affects a beach's rates of attendance. I'd like to give you my contact information and discuss more about this another time. Okay, Clay. Uh, good. I like the. I like the. Uh, Hi. I like the. Clay. I like the. Boom! Boom! At the start. But then it slowly kind of disappeared as it went through. So keep that energy. Keep that, that positivity, that smile, that energy um, throughout. Um, let's see. Next. Okay, so what did you find, right? So I, I looked at, at rates of attendance and everything. But what did you find, right? 
surprisingly, I found blah, blah, blah. Uh, I, I, I didn't think I would see it like this, but it actually turned out that it, right? So, so don't spend up so much, don't spend so much time explaining the setup to you, what you found. Talk about what you found. Um, okay, cool. Hi, my name is Quinn Lewis. I'm a senior environmental science major at CSUCI. I will be graduating this May. This year, my capstone group and I analyzed a survey about how COVID impacted the surfing community. Specifically, I was interested in which age groups were the least likely to comply with beach access restrictions. Um, I was surprised to find that ages 45 through 54 actually had the least compliance. I saw your presentation about compliance in marine protected areas and was curious which age groups you would have thought would have complied the least. Thank you. Okay, cool, Quinn. So, uh, so good. Uh, good overall, although um, I think we can tighten it up a little bit. So rather than sort of saying, I looked at this thing and then I studied the study groups and the groups of this age, just come out and say, old people, vi old people didn't pay attention to the rules, right? Um, uh, and, and, you know, cut to the chase like that, get to the, get to the quick of it. And, and that'll give you more room to do other things or to actually end a, a second or a couple seconds early. So, um, so work on that work, work on, um, you don't have to, you don't have to restate all the technical terms as they are in your thesis. You can just cut to the quick and give something snippy and, and, uh, and snappy there. All right, cool. Thanks, man. Hello, my name is Isabel Mandon. I'm an environmental science and resource management major at CSU Channel Islands. I recently attended your talk about coastal access. I did some research for my capstone on surfing access disruption through the pandemic and how exactly surfers and beachgoers were affected. I would love to talk to you more about my research and maybe get involved in yours as well. Okay, Isabel, so so uh, so good. But remember, um, we want to cut. We, we, we want. What did you find? So, uh, again, is another example of sort of setting up the research that you did. But tell me what you found. Tell me your cool insight that we can that will that will hook me into wanting to hear more. Um, um, that's really what's going to draw me in. And then, just as a, a side note, uh, like the professional dress, like the energy that was great. The intonation's great. Um, but realize that when we were doing we're talking to the person, we want to look eye to eye. In the case of the online, we need to look right in the camera. So if we're doing an interview or something, right, we want to make sure that when you're answering questions, you're looking right at your camera, not off to the side, even though your screen might be off to the side or something. All right, cool. Hi, I am Julie McCorney, and I'm a recent graduate of environmental science at CSU Channel Islands. I'm incredibly interested in environmental education, interpretation, and outreach. I think it's a vital aspect for any sort of environmental decision making. In my recent research examining how coastal access restrictions affected the surf community, I found that a majority of the respondents noted that their concern about coastal access issues and coastal management were affected to some degree. I was wondering if we could discuss further on experiences you've had with high levels of community engagement and the practices that led to those successful outcomes. Okay, Julie, good, good, um, good uh, uh, energy, good way of sort of alternating the the rate of speech and that kind of stuff to sort of emphasize this thing or not. I like the little bit of the eyes every now and then, kind of a little bit of an eye roll. Awesome, right? Doesn't doesn't seem like it's you're you're reading off a piece of paper or something of that nature. Um, uh, one thing you guys can think about that we haven't talked about that might work well for you is um, instead of here, here's who I am. Let me, I did this capstone, did this research, set it up. And then, and then what you found, you might just lead with what you found. I've been, I've been looking at uh, X and I've been surprised to find that Y is what is going on. Right. So you don't necessarily need to do a huge amount of setup to get to the, to get to the chase um, of stuff. But, uh, but overall, Overall good. Thanks, Julie. Born, I'm a senior at Hi, I'm Emily Orsborn. I'm a senior at CSU Channel Islands completing a degree in environmental science and resource management. My senior capstone is analyzing surfing access in California between different demographics, including age, gender, income, and race. There are many marginalized groups within the surfing community, including women and people of color. So my goal was to spatially analyze surfing access and how it compares to California County demographics, since it's such a relevant topic in the current social climate. Uh, okay, great. 
uh, Emily, uh, good energy, good projection like that. Um, but I want to hear more about what you actually found. So most of your setup was talking about what the study was, how you did stuff, just cut to the chase. So you don't need to tell us that you compared it to county demographics as sort of the setup. Just tell us that in the conclusion. So I found things were radically different. I, I found the surfing population was very different than the surrounding counties um, or, or whatever, right? So just cut to the chase. Don't worry about all the setup. With the specific details, how did you do this? What did you contrast the demographic, uh, the surfer demographic with? That's all great stuff to talk about um, if the person engages with you and you had that more detailed uh, conversation. Uh, okay, cool. And yeah, again, so so good projection and good uh, uh, modulation tonality um, between sentences and stuff like that. So good. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Emily. Hello. My name is Christian Pito. I am a graduate of Channel Islands in the Environmental Science and Resource Management. I have a specific interest in restoring natural habitats and removing invasive species. I'm currently seeking an internship with Santa Clara River Conservancy, looking at removing a rondo dodex. I heard your presentation today and I enjoyed your comments on working from a top-down watershed approach in removing the species. I would love to discuss your findings over a cup of coffee. Uh, all right, did good. So, um, so nice and even tone, which is good. A little more inflection between a couple of the different uh, uh, sections phases. Um, uh, I'm assuming that you thought you were talking to someone from the Santa Clara River Conservancy uh, in the in in the conversation, or stuck in the elevator with you. So that's okay. Um, but generally, I wouldn't I wouldn't memorize it that way, right? So so memorize it probably without that that specific uh, phrase in there. Um, and then if you're, if the person that bumps you in the vegetable aisle or, or whatever actually works for them, then you can toss that in. But I wouldn't have that be the default thing I remember, I memorized to sort of always be introducing my, my work. Um, um, yeah, good. Okay, good. Right. Awesome, dude. Thanks. Hi, I'm Rafael. I'm an environmental science and research management student at Cal State China Islands, and I currently work for Ventura County's agricultural Hi, I'm Rafael. I'm an environmental science and research management student at Cal State China Islands, and I currently work for Ventura County's Agricultural Commissioner. Um, I just got my CDFA license for pesticide use enforcement, and I just heard your presentation on possibly drafting further regulations for pesticides, and I found that incredibly interesting. And I want to know if we can possibly meet and discuss about what the where that leaves bees and apiaries, along with avocado and citrus orchards. Um, if we can possibly exchange business cards and any other contact information, I would really appreciate it. And I really do appreciate your time. Um, and I hope to speak with you soon. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Rafael. Okay, dude. Uh, so good. Um, uh, started pretty strong and then a little bit more of the sort of ums and the pauses and, and, and the breaks as you're trying to figure out where to go next. So again, just practice the whole thing from start to finish. Practice, 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 practice. Um, so got that you that you want to pitch your ag experience and your in your pesticide application and certification experience. So that's okay. So that's not your research. Um, you know, it's okay. But but really want to have a hook with that. If you're going to talk about your 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 resume, basically, you need to have a hook. So talking about the, your research is a way to to more easily make that hook. Otherwise you have to make some kind of hook out of the apiary stuff or out of the um, application, uh, pesticide application stuff. And that, that usually is a lot harder <clears throat> and doesn't leave as strong an impression as, as you, the researcher uh, would leave. So, so good. But other than that, but, but, but good, good projection, good tonality. Um, I liked it. Uh, yeah, cool. All right. Thanks man. Hi, my name is Rafael Riolada. I'm a recent graduate from California State University Challenge. I major in environmental science and research management. I enjoyed your topic, your presentation today on habitat fragmentations and its harmonic amounts. I found it interesting because I completed my capstone thesis on road code in Ventura County. Um, do you have any time today to discuss the topic further? Thank you. Cool, thanks, dude. Um, so good. Uh, I think there's a so. Uh, let's see, you were 21 seconds. So, uh, plenty of time. So I would take that, take that 21 seconds and a little bit slow down. 
So a little more enunciation. So, you know, roadkill or some of those phrases were a little hard to hear because you sort of like talk, 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 sort of slow down and then talk, talk, talk kind of fast. So work on enunciation, work on um, I'm pausing and, and raising the voice to emphasize a particular word or particular concept kind of thing. I think that'll, that'll uh, work out well, given that you have nine seconds to work with. So you still have a good amount of time. You have almost a third of the time left. And so, um, so that's good. Uh, I guess, yeah, yeah. So that's good. I, I guess I was going to say with, with the other Raphael, um, yeah, and now there's other people too have said this. So, uh, hey, can we exchange cards? Um, um, just go ahead and hand your card. Hey, here's my card, right? So you can end. If you're not sure how to end, you can also just say, hey, here's here's me. I'd love to talk with you further if you have time. You know, so so don't sort of ask them if they want your card. Just offer it, and that's you're more likely to get someone to take it um, and put it in their wallet that way. Um, okay, cool, awesome. Thanks, you guys.